One thing about being in the country is to know rattlesnake habitat. Rattlesnakes love to be under garbage and debris. This piece of tin right here is a perfect spot for a rattlesnake. What you wanna know is if you need to pick this up, never pick it up like a car hood. Rattlesnake is there, can bite you, you've got nothing to protect. The proper way to pick this up would be come behind it. If there's a rattlesnake there, the rattlesnake cannot hit me because he would have to go through the tin. Not in the line of fire. Rattlesnakes. What do you need to know about rattlesnakes? One is, you don't need to worry about them in the winter because they're denned up. They always den up on the southwest side of a mountain, so therefore when the weather does start to warm up, they can lay on a rock and kind of warm themselves up. They're cold-blooded, which means they'd rather be warm than cold. Two is, the button on the rattlesnake doesn't actually tell you its age. All that does is tell you how many times it's eaten. Let me explain that. When a rattlesnake is born, it has one button. When it eats a meal, it sheds its skin and adds a button. So this rattlesnake has had more meals than this rattlesnake. Therefore, you could assume it's older, but you can't necessarily count the rings and tell how old it is. That's the rattles on the rattlesnake. Two is, the most protective thing you can do for yourself is to wear rattlesnake boots or gaiters. Rattlesnakes bite up. So you wanna protect your lower leg, not even necessarily your feet. It's different than a cobra, a cobra bites down. That's why when you see people in a circus, they can bite a cobra on the top of his head because the cobra can only bite down. A rattlesnake bites up. Nobody's ever kissed a rattlesnake on the head. Two is, you need to kill those things. They're very dangerous. It's the most poisonous animal in Texas, the most dangerous animal in Texas. If you got bit, then you need to head to the hospital as soon as possible. There's 911 apps and stuff like that will actually tell you this place has antivenom. Antivenom has a short self life, so not everybody has antivenom. You wanna get that antivenom in you as soon as possible to make sure that you can recover from that rattlesnake bite. If you get bit on the hand, sometimes you'll lose a finger. It's a bad bite. To kill a rattlesnake, what do you need to have? Number one, rattlesnakes have a really soft head. That goes back to biblical times, right? Where in Genesis, the snake will bite her heel and she will crush its head. So if you can hit its head, you're gonna daze it. So if all you got is a stick or a rock, that usually does the job, step on its head and cut it off. The best way to actually kill a rattlesnake if you're prepared is two different ways. One is a 410 shell that I like to carry in a pistol or in like a regular nine millimeter, you can get rat shot. Now the difference is, is, this is a 45, which is just one bullet. This is a nine millimeter, which is just one bullet. So when a rattlesnake's crawling away from you and you're having to hit it with one bullet, you better be pretty daggum good. It's very difficult. So instead, shotgun's the best thing because there's all kinds of BBs in here, but a shotgun is really heavy and long. So they do make handguns that hold a 410 shell or a 45. Taurus makes one called the Judge, which I named my dog after. There's also one called the Bond arms ranger so that holds the both 410 and 45 now remember if it's going for a rattlesnake you can put the 45 up and just carry bird loads in your 410 shell this is filled with bb's so your room for inaccuracy is there so the 410 shell instead of having one bullet in it is filled with bb's this is what comes out when you fire a 410. So a pistol that holds this is gonna give you a wide spread. So if this is the snake's head, you shoot in this general direction, these BBs are gonna hit it. That's the best way to kill the rattlesnake. So I'll carry the judge, which is a tourist judge, or the Bond Arms Ranger, which carries these 410 shells. Easier to knock those guys down and get them off this earth. So to kill a rattlesnake, a lot of people think you can just run over them. That's not true. You can run over the body of a snake and he's gonna live for a long time. You've gotta either run over its body and skid your brakes, or you've gotta run over its head. Both those are pretty difficult to do when crossing the road. So that's why you've got to make sure that you've got a snake shot in a nine millimeter. This is a nine millimeter and it's not just one bullet. This one is. In a snake shot, it's multiple BBs in a nine millimeter load. So most people have a nine millimeter just by some snake shot. But if you're trying to buy a gun specifically to kill a snake, grab one that could hold a 410. Walking up on a rattlesnake that we just killed. Killed it with the judge. It's a 410 45. Let's see how long he is. He's got a good set of rattles on him. Still got some reflexes there. So he's probably four foot, five foot long. See what he's got there as far as fangs. So there are his fangs tucked away. Rattlesnake lifespans. These dudes will live 15 to 20 years. 
so they don't eat a whole lot. But every time they eat, they shed their skin and they add a butt. I've always heard tales from my grandparents and their forefathers were six foot rattlers or six and a half or seven foot rattlers where they ran over it with a tractor and it felt like a, a corner post. I've personally never shot one that big, but if I do, I'm gonna mount that sucker. You can eat them. It's kind of flaky like a fish. It's really hard to eat just to get much meat out of it, but it's kind of cool to say you've had rattlesnakes too. You can skin them, put the skin flat on a board and, and just let it dry out if you want your trophy snake. That's the rattlesnake.